if the first portion of SEALs is World War III and lasts about two and a half years, then when the abomination of desolation happens because the Antichrist and false prophet are now there, what do you think that does then to Revelation 13? You see, when the Antichrist fully steps on the scene and gets his power, who does he, we know that Satan gives him his power and his authority, but look at who he has control of. The leopard, uh, sorry, uh, uh, what is it? Um, the leopard, the bear, and the lion. So the, this beast, this Antichrist beast is the leopard, the bear, and the lion. And what is he going to be given? He's going to be given power to continue 42 months. When he gets his power, what's going to happen? The mark of the beast. The mark of the beast comes. So that means when the mark of the beast comes about, he's here on the scene. He's being shown as the guy. Why is so much of the world going to fall for him? Because they just endured three uh two and a half years of a literal global world war three in the midst of famines troubles which is rollings of water so tsunamis famines major earthquakes ripping the earth apart in places but at the end of his 42 months what happens well for that we can go to daniel chapter 7. See, what do we read about in Daniel chapter 7? The first beast is the lion. This is the one that's going to destroy, as Assad, who's going to destroy Jerusalem. Then you've got the bear. So they're all independently working during World War III. Because it's nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom during the first two and a half years. So you have the lion bringing about destruction in Jerusalem and Middle East war breaking out fully. Then you've got the bear, Russia, given probably working with China, but this is Russia, and that'll bring war to the nations. And then you've got the leopard, and the leopard is the control center where everything is going to be kind of organized, if you will, which is probably going to be Germany or somewhere up there in Europe. But when is the fourth beast? Right here. There's your fourth beast, which means these three are operating independently in World War III, whether together independently causing World War III all over the world, not like World War II. This will actually be throughout the whole earth. But when does the fourth beast show up? There he is, after the other three. Which means those first three were all part of World War III first before you can get to Revelation 13 where this beast takes over all of them and has the, the authority and the voice of the lion in, in the Middle East, has the army of Russia and has the control over in Europe or in Germany uh, specifically. This power that he's going to have we know from Revelation 13 is going to last three and a half years or 42 months. Which will take it to the end of the first six years of tribulation. Which is the end of the six seals. What do we see happen at the end of the sixth seal? We see the son of man and the lamb, right? Or uh, um, the one sitting on the throne and the ram and the time, uh, the lamb, sorry. And the time of the Lamb's wrath. What do you see in Daniel 7? The Ancient of Days now did come. Okay? And what happened? The beast, the Antichrist, was killed. He was killed, but the rest of them, like the false prophet, wasn't killed. And all the other ten, the ten toes and everything, they weren't killed, but all their dominion was taken away. But the beast, he was. His body destroyed and given to the burning flame. And then what happens? Then one like unto the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven. 
to the ancient of days and the dominion was given to him. This is at the end of six years of seals. 